Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. Today we're back looking at the Esheen EX2 Mini here and we're gonna look specifically at the charging of it. This is the major downside of this drone and a lot of drones these days. They have these proprietary batteries that are only allowing you to use their charger to charge the batteries, which in this case, and like most cases, it's just a little adapter with a two cell connector on the end. This adapter, they've got this little thing rigged up here into a USB, you plug it into your USB outlet and it, you know, plain and simple, it takes forever to charge your batteries. So what I use for a balance charger is this IMAX B6. I know a lot of you out there are using the exact same charger. It's affordable, reliable, it does the job. We're gonna take this adapter right there that has the balance lead on it we're going to take balance extension here if you're paying any more than a couple bucks for a handful of these it's too much they're so cheap i'll have two of these batteries so i can use a balance board what i'm going to do and this is an xt30 to a jst i've got these wires kicking around i always have extra wires so what i'm going to do is just cut that xt30 off and let's just do it. We'll go through the whole thing. I'll show you how this is done, how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna strip the ends there. You know, pretty basic stuff. Get some flux on them, soldering iron. And we're gonna tin the ends of these. Get those tin prepped for, uh, prepped for soldering. And what I'm gonna do here now is take this balance lead and this is the end you want to work with so we're gonna give it what's that about two inches it will give it about two two and a half inches there and I'm just gonna right away is snip them all and you'll see why the only ones we're worried about connecting are our negative and our positive this blue one the balance lead in the middle I'm only snipping that because I got to shorten it up. So, same thing. We'll prep all these wires. Okay, we've got all four wires here stripped. Just give them a little twist there. We're gonna dunk each uh, bare end there into some flux. And same thing, a little solder on there. we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together like this give them a little twist there this red one together like so and please don't critique my soldering I'm by all means I'm no expert but I get the job done So, our positive and our negative now. Oh, looks like I need a little more here. Positive and negative are now together. I'm gonna take that shrink tube and you connect them any way you want. This is just the way I wanna do it. I've already done it once and it, uh, it works for me. Okay, now let me get that XT30 connector here. Just gonna use the assistance of the little clamp there on my soldering station. A little solder on the iron. That positive hooked up now. Now I want to slide the shrink tube over top. Get that shrink tube over top there. Then I take my heat gun from here. We're just gonna finish those off. So, 
All right, now the reason I snipped the center wire there is because it's more of me being obsessive compulsive. I snipped it, we're gonna short it, shorten it up a bit. We'll get some uh, solder on that end. I just snipped the short end there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna twist this around. And this is just to make it, uh, just kinda keep it all together nice and neat. I don't know. This is an extra step. Don't need to do this. Don't need to cut that center wire. It's just me being me. And then I can see here where I need this, where I need to uh, cut it and strip it here. Same thing, a little solder on it there. Sorry if I'm boring you here, guys. Hope some of you uh, newer users, newer drone pilots, new new to mods. Hopefully this is helpful. And again, I've got some blue uh, shrink tube here. I just get that as far away from the connection as possible. Getting that together somewhat. A little soldering solder on the iron there and just a little dab there perfect it's gonna snip the ex excess off there get that shrink tube up and over top the connection and there we go And that's it guys, we just spliced in XT30 connector there. Here, let's plug this thing in, let's see, see if it works. Pretty confident it will. Get some stuff out of the way here. And remember, we've got a 850 milliamp battery here, 7.4 volt, it's two cell. So, hit that over to balance, I'm gonna do 0.8. Typically do one to one charge. So let's look. Do a point 0.8 there, we'll get the XT30 in, get the balance lead in there, hook that up to the battery, and we should be good to go. 0.8 amps, 7.4 volts, let's, let's batteries check in there and start. There we go guys, we're using a balance extension with the adapter that came with the charger. We've spliced an XT30 connector using my XT30 balance board to the IMAX B6. Everything's charging just fine. So if you don't want to use a balance board, there's no need to splice in an XT30 connector. If you're only gonna be charging one battery at a time, here's the way I would do it. I would take some banana plugs here. I've got a few of these. This is what fits in to the back. Well, this is what fits into your balance charger and most balance chargers, I believe, use the same setup, same connectors. We'll take our balance lead, our extension here, our two cell balance extension, and now we're just gonna splice in this guy. That's it for that guys. So that should work just as a single without using the balance board. Positive, negative, 
pop the balance, two cell balance into right there where it goes and to the battery using the included adapter that came with the e-sheen here and we'll plug it in set her on balance 0.8 and let's start her up all right guys there you go that's how you do it showing you how to do uh, make your own uh, pigtail here to actually use with the balance charger I'm using this with the IMAX B6 I've also shown you with how to incorporate the balance board with it with making pigtails for your balance board this is an XT30 board so I use the XT30 connectors on it I made two of them because I have now two batteries two of the stock Sheen batteries here so when I want to uh, charge them both at the same time, I'll be using the balance board. Other than that, I can just use this single charging cable that I made up here to charge batteries one at a time. Anyways, make sure you give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.